When, then, are we going to use multiplication? Well, fundamentally, we're going to use multiplication to represent repeated addition. Later on, when we get some more complicated numbers, we might stretch the meaning of repeated a little bit. But fundamentally, we use multiplication to represent repeated addition. So, we might just have a basic repeated addition situation. For example, maybe Jenna runs three miles each day for seven days, and we want to know how far she runs. So we want to say three miles on the first day, plus three miles on the second day, plus three miles on the third day, plus three miles on the fourth day. Uh, I'm already sick of this. Right, we're going to do this seven times. So instead we want to understand this as seven days times three miles per day. Seven days on each day she runs three miles. She will run seven times three is 21 miles. Another example. Another time we might use multiplication is when we're talking about a rate or a speed. And we'll talk in more detail about what we mean by a rate or a speed. But we have a certain amount of intuition into what this means. If I drive for six hours at 65 miles per hour, how far do I travel? Well, that's six hours times 65 miles per hour equals, you know what? I'm going to ask a calculator what six times 65 is. Six times 65 is 390. So that's 390 miles. Another place that we use multiplication is in geometry when we're finding areas. The simplest shape to find an area for is a rectangle. So that's the basic example I'm going to give here. Suppose I have a rectangle that's 28 centimeters long and 33 centimeters high, and I wonder, what's its area? Thinking again about my understanding of multiplication in terms of length, right? I'm taking a length of 28 centimeters times a length of 33 centimeters. And we'll say 28 centimeters times 33 centimeters is 28 times 33 is 924 and centimeters by centimeters is square centimeters. So the area is 924 square centimeters. More complicated shapes will have more complicated formulas for their areas, but ultimately in finding an area we'll always be multiplying a length times a length in order to get some square length.